Welcome back to In the Kitchen with Jeannie Young. Today we're going to be cooking something super delicious. I got the grill going right here. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you all how to make a delicious bacon, egg, and cheese boat, Jeannie Young style. This recipe is super duper easy. Doesn't require a lot of ingredients. If you make it Jeannie Young style, you're going to love me for this recipe. Here's what you'll need. You will need, these are called bolio, bolio rolls. Now, if you can find this shape here in a croissant, that would be great as well. Okay, so we have those and we have some pre-cooked bacon. All right, we have bell peppers here, two gorgeous red and yellow bell peppers. We have green onions. I have some shredded cheddar cheese I need to get out the fridge and we have some eggs. We also have heavy whipping cream, parsley flakes for color, salt, and pepper. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this amazing recipe, Gina Young style. It's morning time here at the Young's house, and believe it or not, it's 80-something degrees. Right now, already, it's 80-something degrees. So let's whip this recipe together really quickly. So now, the first thing that we need to do, make sure your bacon is cooked. Okay, or if you're going to use sausage, make sure it's pre-cooked. Let's go ahead and chop up our bacon just like so in this manner. I hope you all had a great Mother's Day. My Mother's Day was absolutely amazing, but I can tell you this, I was in the bed super sick. I'm getting over a cold. Everyone in my house had this same cold. It was not fun, but I tell you one thing, the cold didn't last too long. I might have been sick about two days. So uh, I'm feeling much better. All right, we have some gorgeous bacon there. Nice and chopped up. Let's do the same with the green onions. You bring your veggies home, always wash them off. You gotta wash off those nasty pesticides. Then you never know who's handled your veggies, you know, in the local market before you brought yours home. I think that's enough. We're gonna use it for flavor but also uh, more for a nice garnish and make it nice and gorgeous. I'm in my pajamas. I am, I'm in my pajamas right now. It is so beautiful outside. I said, I must show them this recipe. All right, here we go. So now that we have our gorgeous bacon and green onions, let's go ahead and chop up some bell peppers. I hope y'all are having a great day today. Somebody, anybody, in the comment section below let me know have you ever tasted the recipe like this have you ever heard of something like this and you know this is nothing like a omelet right it's like completely different but I do feel like it gives you omelet vibes you know because of the ingredients that we're using when I'm making breakfast or any dish therefore I love to put nice color in it. When you're putting color into your food, look out. You know, I love to eat with my eyes. I like everything that I make to look nice and beautiful. Pack those veggies in. There we go. So we have this. I'll set these in this nice bowl here. And then I'm gonna show you something special that we need to do to your croissant or your bolio roll. Okay, let's wipe this down. beautiful. Feel free to let me know if you're enjoying the sounds of the nature in my backyard. So what we're going to do is we're going to create like a boat. Okay. These are called a bacon, egg, and cheese boat. And so that's what we want to do. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just carve out some of the bread. Okay. And then with this here, throw it in the yard for the birds if you want to, or you can save it and um, turn it into breadcrumbs on a later date okay throw it in the freezer just like so let's hollow out that bread all right as long as i feel well today i'm going to do a second video for you all and i know you guys are gonna enjoy that video as well so now it's going to be very important that you do not carve out too much of the bread because you need for this to stay intact so it can hold the lovely ingredients, okay? Your eggs 
and your veggies. So let's go ahead and begin to put all of our ingredients in there. Put it in there how you want. Just like so, we're going in with bell peppers. And if you want it to, you can saute your bell peppers ahead of time. Throw onions in here, ham, whatever floats your fanny, that's what you're gonna put into your recipe, okay? So now let's go ahead and put the gorgeous green onion in there. Look it, took it. What a beautiful morning, guys. Good morning. All right, look at this. Oh, the sun is shining. The wind is blowing just perfectly. Gorgeous. And my husband is super hungry. So now Dakota's at school. So two will be for my husband and one of those will be for me. <laughs> so now what we're going to do, since it's super hot out, I had to go put my eggs and my cheese in the sunroom. So I'll go grab the eggs and cheese because you can't just have them sitting out here on the 80 degree weather. You know, they, they will literally cook on the table. So I'm going to go in and grab them. We're going to whip them up with some heavy whipping cream and pour the eggs in here just like so. Let's go ahead and put some cheese in. We'll put some cheese in now and then we'll put some more cheese in a little later right before it comes off of the grill. Be sure when you make this that you close your grill down so that the eggs can cook. They kind of cook up like a nice souffle, so to speak. Okay, so now let's move our boats aside. Just like so. Now we need to crack some eggs. Oh yes, nice beautiful fresh eggs. The birds are singing to me. They are. Y'all, I woke up about 10.30. My husband gave me medicine about 9.30 this morning. He said, here, baby, here's some medicine. He said, you can go back to sleep. <laughs> but after he gave me that medicine, I couldn't go back to sleep. Are you kidding me? I was wide awake. <laughs> We're going to put some parsley flakes in because we can and make it nice and purdy, right? A little bit of salt and pepper. Season your eggs. Make it taste good, just like as you were cooking them inside. Season them. Make them taste good. Great. And then we're going to whip them. In the meantime, between time, we have heavy whipping cream we want to put in. Don't worry about how much. Just get some in there, okay? You see how much I put in. Keep everything nice and clean around you. You'll be stress-free. So now I'll show you what we're going to cook these on. I have a cookie sheet and a cooling rack and I'm just going to set them on here. Okay, and then we'll put them onto the grill. Cook these boats. Bacon, egg and cheese boats cooked on the grill delicious every time. And like I said, if you can find the croissants that come in that shape, then you can use them, it's lovely, but I just wasn't able to find croissants that come in that shape. I found the regular kind, but I wasn't looking for that, you know? Beautiful, really whip in the whites and that heavy cream into your egg just like so. Please excuse me if I'm sniffing in the background. You know, like I said, I'm, I'm getting over my sickness. We'll get there. Okay. Uh-oh. Don't go nowhere. You stay right there. I'm, I'm going to finish it off with cheese and green onions, but that will be right before the dish is completely cooked, okay? So now, pour it in. Don't worry if any gets on the bottom. It may happen. Some may come out, and if it does, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Gorgeous. Ooh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Gina, this is interesting. You bet it is. I want to use all the egg filling. Okay. I, I do feel like if you pour it in a little bit slower, it won't come out. It's not coming out from the bottom. It's coming out from the sides because I poured it a little too fast. Okay. What do we do next? Well, we're going to put a little bit of parsley flakes on. We're going to get this onto the grill. 
and let it cook and then we need to cover it. In the next clip you'll see these babies go onto the grill. I wiped off the excess egg that fell in the bottom. Let's go ahead and turn the grill up a little bit, maybe on like a medium flame. Pull it down and let it cook. And when I come back, we're gonna take a peek in at it. We're enjoying our beautiful morning here at the Young's house in the backyard. I'm gonna clean everything up, make it look nice and pretty. Listen, when you clean up as you go, you're gonna be stress-free. Clean up as you go. You're gonna have a great day. We'll save the bread, put it in a Ziploc bag, and when I need to make breadcrumbs, got them. I really don't know if y'all can see, but the eggs are beginning to cook and my stomach is a rumbling. Let me know in the comment section below if there's something that you would love to try. I, I, I think you would. I think you'd love it. I went ahead and did it. I don't know if you can see, I threw the bread. I did, I threw the bread. I threw the bread out there for the birds. The birds can enjoy a good evening, um, hopefully eating the bread. The birds that made a nest in my begonias. They, they did. They did. <laughs> they took over my begonias. As long as you set your bacon, egg, and cheese bolts on a cooling rack and the cookie sheet, you do not have to, let me, let me repeat myself, you do not have to worry about it burning your bread. Your bread will not burn, so please don't worry about that, okay? All right, so you want extra cheese? I know you do. Put extra cheese. Oh, my goodness. Gina, what? My husband just walked out here like, are you kidding me? I'm super excited about this recipe. I said, I know you are, and that's why I made it. Woo! All right, so I'd like to say they've been cooking for 10 minutes cook them for another five minutes and our recipe is done make you some five minutes has passed they are done listen here everybody if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe tell your family and friends tell the world what Gina Young is doing in this kitchen on a daily basis Heavenly Father I thank you in Jesus Christ's name we pray amen if you enjoy the sounds of the nature and us cooking outside this morning, no worries because I'll definitely be doing lots of videos out here. We are loving and enjoying our new backyard and I hope you are as well. And as always, God bless. Thanks for watching. Good night. Oh, let me pick it up for you. Oh, that's a mouthful. Oh, look at that. Are you kidding me? Easy. It was so easy. You've seen it.